The new face of heroin may not be what you think. According to the Journal of American Medical Association, the average heroin user today is white in their mid-20s with a previous prescription drug abuse problem. So, um, you know, at the funeral. Which From the outside, the Stengers looked like a normal family, but they were hiding their son's secret. Until one day, the unthinkable happened. Laura Stenger found her son unresponsive. On December 4th, at the age of 23, Mitch Stenger passed away from a heroin overdose, just hours after his tech school graduation. We would never really thought he would die. Public awareness specialist Jared Opsol says heroin is so addictive because it quickly takes hold of the brain and hijacks a part of the nervous system. It latches onto a part of the brain in charge of breathing. So it just shuts the breathing system down to where they get to a point where they're just not taking any more breaths. And that's where the danger lies with heroin. Mitch was born with club foot, and he underwent almost a dozen surgeries to correct it. His family believes his pain pill addiction led to his drug abuse. But Mitch isn't alone. This drug isn't just prominent in cities like St. Louis. It's also affecting families right here in the safe, quiet suburbs of St. Charles. Five or six kids just in St. Charles County are dying from heroin overdoses every month in St. Charles County. We, we kind of hid his illness from a lot of people because there's such a stigma on heroin. Mm -hmm. And we thought, well, you know, he was battling this and we were battling it with him. Still grieving from the loss of their son, Peter and Laura are now sharing their story to help others understand heroin addiction. When he died, I wanted to make sure everybody knew how he passed away. We kind of hid this long enough. Three. On Saturday, May 9th, Walking for Wellness will host Mitch's Walk. The walk will begin at 1230 and end with a performance by Mitch's former band. For more information, visit facebook.com slash stopheroin. Reporting for LUTV News, I'm Caitlin Baker.